good morning uh, the judgment which i am going to discuss with you was about the right of preemption the right of preemption is available and uh, in the general act and uh, hindu succession act and muslim personal laws right of preemption is available but uh, here in this case in which i am going to discuss with you is about the uh, interpretation of laws for the young lawyers who are pursuing law approaching for a master degree and research scholars the judgment will help you how words are uh, entirely deeply uh, interpreted this is ar 2024 supreme court 900 ar 2024 supreme court 900 <coughs> jagmogan and another badrinath and another this is uh, because uh, there is an act prevailing in punjab punjab preemption act act 1 of 1930 that is colonial act eh? punjab alienation of land act that is also colonial act 1900 act 13 of 1900 that time punjab was uh, one state uh, one state in now which was divided in two states one ceded to pakistan the other one retained in india this is most important the problem is uh, the, the problem is from uh, Uh, the plaintiff before the lower court uh, was a tenant in respect of uh, uh, land he uh, constructed a mill rolling mill and subsequently the land owners sold the property to the defendant therefore the plaintiff by exercising the Punjab Preemption Act as well as Punjab Alienation of Land Act filed a suit against the person who purchased the property and he obtained a degree wherein the lower court directed him to pay 50238 because the sale was uh, uh, 2000 uh, uh, sale was 251 1983 So this amount was there that time. But thereafter, they seem to have filed the appeal suit, dismissed the second appeal, dismissed then Supreme Court SLP. In the SLP, the most important thing is uh, at paragraph fifteen. Uh, If you go through that, uh, who all are uh, entitled for uh, right of preemption? Uh, he has been listed, and one of one of the person who was uh, enlisted for uh, to claim right of uh, uh, preemption was tenant he had the objection of the uh, person who subsequently uh, the there was some notification by the government uh, exercising the power confirmed under the act 1930 section 82 they can declare that uh, this uh, exemption for uh, exercising right of preemption here the notification only says uh, land and village immovable property here the property was in uh, urban uh, it is not uh, it is not uh, only land it is also uh, property so the supreme court has uh, uh, deeply dis- uh, distinguished uh, a uh, two words uh, according to general glasses act uh, stating that uh, land is totally different uh, and the immovable property is totally different here the, uh, they held that this property is immovable property uh, land and the property therefore they say that because the mill was there it uh, already construction is there uh, the exemption would not apply which uh, uh, only Uh, give exemption for land only therefore they dismiss the appeal so you go through the judgment i do not uh, think that this judgment uh, is not useful 
for young lawyers uh, or those who are uh, that interested in civil this may be helpful uh, how to uh, distinguish uh, the words available and that will improve your skill of uh, profession i hope you understand the best use